Welcome to this week's edition of Outdoors Online, a weekly webcast produced by the North Dakota Game and Fish Department. I'm your host, Mike Anderson. My guest this week is Education Coordinator Jeff Long. Today we're going to talk about the NAS program, National Archery in the Schools program. Jeff, give us a little background in North Dakota on the NAS program. Over a dozen years ago, we initiated the NAS program, which was a nationwide uh, program uh, to, as a way to attract more kids to, to the shooting sports and or hunting and fishing uh, arena. How many schools are involved with the NAS program? Right now we've implemented the program in 185 schools. Wow, how many kids roughly? It's hard to get a fix on how many kids, but we did have, uh, NAS just started a reporting, a, a nationwide reporting system, and from that system we were able to say comfortably we had 10 to 12,000 kids participating in our state. Okay, and one of the, the comments we commonly hear for schools that are hesitant in getting into this program is a safety issue. They are, and yet the safety issue is actually one of the big selling points of the program. Uh, NASP is going into their 15th year, beyond their 15th year, and they can still boast an absolute zero accident rate for their program. Why is it so safe, Jeff? The safety comes from the design of the program itself. It's run with whistles. The kids all know what to do. They're all taught this in their, in their gymnasium and the training of those instructors. Uh, every instructor has to go through an eight hour training course in order to teach the NAS program. It's not only how to teach archery properly, but it's the safety part of it. Very disciplined. Very disciplined, very structured. All kids know exactly what to do all the time. Okay, this is not only a team sport, but it's also an individual sport. Yeah, NAS did build a team uh, component into it, uh, but it is by nature an individual sport, and, and NASP encouraged that even further by, in the design, they have to shoot the same bows and the same arrows, of obviously at the same distances. So this means that you're only going to get as good as you want to get, how much time you're willing to put into it. Uh, it's not an arms race because I'm shooting the same bow as you are, the same bow as the, as the person in the next lane. It's all up to us as individuals to determine how good we're going to be. In a couple of weeks, we have something going on in Minot. Explain. The state tournament happens on March 22nd, March 23rd, and we expect to have eight, 750 to 800 kids at the bullseye competition, which is the, the standard, what we think of as archery with the Olympic style targets. And then we also have a 3D uh, competition, which is where they shoot at the foam animals. And we expect another 500 to 600 kids in that competition. A couple years ago, I had the opportunity of filming a gal from the Southeast that was an academic archer. Explain what academic archer is. Academic archer is a program designed to reward uh, an archer not only for their performance in archery but for their academic performance. And it's all school based. The school determines, each school det determines what, who, I should say, will be an academic archer in their school. Well, sure, so it's based on getting good grades. It's based on getting good grades. So if they're at the state tournament, they've done well. Uh, and they're also recognized then for their academic performance in that setting. Anything else new at the state tournament this year? This year we have uh, a program that we're piloting and, and it, it grew out of our state tournament last year and we're going to be piloting it this year with the first ever tournament. The archery industry is, has gotten behind this pr project and they would like to see it um, grow nationwide but we ca we're calling it for right now Varsity Archery because we're, what we're trying to do is take kids that have been involved in NASP and give them something to look forward to growing into, just like a kid in any other sport would look forward to going from junior varsity to varsity. So we're going to give them a little more challenging course, we're going to give them a little more, little more technology with their bows, and, and, and see where they go. And this is all happening at the state tournament? It's all happening at the state tournament this year. For an individual to show up and, and shoot at the NASP tournament, does their coach need to be there? Actually, no. As an individual, in, in the individual category, the only thing the coach needs to do is sign them up, and that's just to assure, for the safety reasons, that that kid or kids have had the training that they need to have so they know what to do. But a coach does not need to accompany them. The parents can actually just bring them right, up a, right on up to the tournament, and there are plenty of people there to guide them and help them get them to the right place. Is there any other tournaments that go on throughout the year around the state? Yeah, this year, in fact, there was a record number of tournaments. We had 18, actually 22 if you count the 3D competitions. A lot of school are now, schools are doing, like the state tournament model, they're doing not only the bullseye, but if they have the facilities, the 3D competition on the same day. Uh, but there are 18 uh, unique tournaments in our state this year. Most of those other ones, other than the state tournament, occurring at the local level. So schools decide, hey, we'd like to host a tournament. We'd like to give our kids an, an opportunity to shoot and raise some money for our program. One uh, thing we shouldn't leave out is there is an advisory board 
for the NASP program? Yeah, a number of years ago, uh, a group of, of instructors, all people who had, an, ha had a vested interest in the continuation and growth of the program approached me and said, we'd like to put together a, a committee to help grow the program. And out of that came the North Dakota Youth Archery Advisory Council. And yeah, they, uh, I have to say, they have been responsible for a lot of the initiatives, a lot of the ideas, and a lot of the programs um, that we do, like the PIN program where we reward uh, kids with pins they can earn by shooting a, a certain score at, at any tournament in our state. Um, they're the ones that are collecting or, 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 or soliciting the donations for the scholarship money. Scholarships available uh, in, the, in the Olympic style or, or the bullseye competition we call it. We have about $20,000 in scholarships that we'll be giving out to the top five uh, females and the top five males across all divisions. We have elementary, middle, and high school, but it's whoever scores the highest. So yeah, they do a lot of great things. If a school wants to be part of the NAS program, what can they do? They need to contact, their, their, their starting point is to contact me. Um, they're going to need to get the training that I mentioned earlier. They're also going to need to get equipment. And we have um, some grants available, both state and national grants available to help them help offset the cost of the equipment. A lot of good information, Jeff. Thank you. Thank you. Like Jeff just mentioned, the North Dakota National Archery in the Schools Program State Tournament is scheduled for March 22nd and 23rd at the State Fair Center in Minot. The tournament will feature competition in bullseye, our Olympic style, and 3D. For Education Coordinator Jeff Long and the rest of the staff here at the Game and Fish Department, thanks for joining us for this week's Outdoors Online. We'll see you again next week.